Now I want to wrap up the idea of planarity by talking about Kuratowski's theorem which characterizes completely which graphs are non-planar. Um, here's how it, um, it's stated. A graph is non-planar if and only if it contains a subgraph that is homeomorphic to K5 or K33. So uh, again, complete characterization. What it says is that if a graph is non-planar, then it must contain a subgraph that is homeomorphic to one of K5 or K33. It could have both, but at least one of those. On the other hand, if it contains a subgraph that is homeomorphic to one of those, then the graph is nonplanar. Tells us exactly which graphs are nonplanar. So here's a fun little exercise where we'll take what's called the Peterson graph below and show that it is nonplanar by finding within it a graph, a subgraph, subgraph, doesn't have to be the whole graph, a subgraph that's homeomorphic to one of those. Um, now it looks like there's all this fiveness to it. There's uh, the outer uh, graph is a, a five cycle, a C5. The inner one uh, looks like it has, you know, it has um, five vertices that determine it. But what we're going to find is that it has a subgraph that is homeomorphic to K33, not to K5. So what I'm going to do first of all along the way is point out that we don't need all of it, right? We need to get a subgraph and so I'm going to get rid of certain parts of it like these three edges and also that vertex. So um, if I can identify a subgraph or a graph that uh, contains the other pieces that's homeomorphic to K33, then that will show it's non-planar. So let me go ahead and erase those pieces of it so we can just focus on what remains once we have that. So this is what we have left over and um, I'm going to show you what the um, five uh, or sorry the two uh, by uh, partition sets are um, and uh, one of these will be um, F, J and D and the other one will be E and um, I and H, right? So I'm claiming that that will give us uh, a bipartition um, where the connections uh, between the edges or between the, the two sets, the blue and green sets, are, are simply edges connecting a green to a blue, possibly with an extra vertex along the way in it, but nothing more. Um, and I think it's pretty easy to see this now, so let's go ahead and do that and we'll do a red to actually sketch these. Um, so let's start with one of the greens and connect to all the, the blues. So if we start at E, then I, there's an edge here that, to D. There's an edge to J. Um, and here's the edge to F, but it has an extra, an extra vertex in it. So the E to F edge um, simply looks like this with uh, an extra vertex in it like that. So it's really two edges joined together, but that's the homeomorphic idea. So that's okay. And now let's go from I, another green one I, goes to that blue one F, I goes to D pretty simply, and then I goes to J by a similar way where it goes through one other vertex G, but you see that I is going to J and it looks like that with an extra vertex there which is what G. Okay. And then finally um, we have H going to J directly and H going to F directly and then H goes to D again by this idea of going through one other vertex along the edge like D. So um, we have those three cases like that. And you could actually draw that as a K33. Um, and if you do it on a K33, some of the edges um, would have an extra vertex on them. So for example, if we had E up here and down below, we have um, F. Uh, D, F, J, just to be alphabetical there, then um, E goes to each of those directly to D, directly to J, but to F it had a vertex, an extra vertex there at A, right? Yeah, and you could draw the others there um, like that as well if you wanted to. Uh, H and I will will work similarly, so we do have a um, homeomorphic um, uh, a graph that is homeomorphic to K33. Notice none of the greens have a path to the other greens. None of the blues have a path to the other blues. So um, this is uh, this subgraph 
is homeomorphic to K33. So K33 is non-planar. Okay. So we'll stop that one here. That, that pretty well wraps up what we're going to do with planar graphs at this stage. Um, we'll talk a little bit more um, when we talk about the four color theorem um, in the, the next um, unit.